take the obvious choice out. Oh, I'm gonna take that. We're gonna take the obvious choice out, which is Jalen Carter. Okay, cool. Three tech or or one. Who you mm-hmm. got? Mozzie Smith. Mozzie. Mozzie Smith from Michigan. Now that's that's interesting you say Mozzie because yeah. when I was doing my, my D line stuff, I got to Mozzie and I remember mm-hmm. you being high on Mozzie. Yes. Convince me because I didn't see it. So if Mozzie's gonna be playing one tech for me, that's that's the that's my that's my role for him. Okay. And I just want to be clear here. I'm not talking about Mozzie like he close to Jalen Carter. Okay. That's what I'm saying. So sometimes my, you know, my level of excitement is just, you know, it's just what it is with this draft. Like if Mozzie was in the Quentin Williams draft or the Derrick Brown draft, I'm still not talking about Mozzie and them. If he was up there with Ken Law and them, I'm not talking about Mozzie. I'm talking about them guys, right? But just Mozzie in this draft is Mozzie versus Kansi. I'll slightly mm. go Mozzie. You know, Mozzie versus Benton. I'm going Mozzie. If it's Mozzie versus, you know, Ika. Kobe Turner, I'm going Mozzie, right? Mm -hmm. So what I like about Mozzie is, you know, we just talking about even fronts now. If Now, I do think that his team sometimes put him in situations where he had to be a true zero sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I ain't that ain't really the role I want for him. But if I'm running this team, even front, and he's he could be a penetrating one tech for me, right? He's athletic enough. He you know he can move around a little bit. And what I do like about him is that with that size, and and he is powerful. He is a a a powerful character. Yes. Um, you know he's a dude that plays with power. Um, you know one thing that you have to do is you have to figure out what your biases are, mm-hmm. and you kind of got to figure out okay, is this a healthy bias or is this an unhealthy one, right? And one of my biases in which I haven't figured out whether it's healthy or not is I don't like the D tackle that moves around really well but doesn't show power, right? Mm-hmm. Because I'm a Cowboys fan and I've had three techs on my team, you know, Neville Galmore to where it just really didn't work out for him. He was a great pass rush, but it just didn't work out for him. Okay, so let's put uh let's put 25 pounds on him and make him 350. Oh, now he's 315 pounds and he moves well but he's still not that powerful guy mm-hmm. so baseline i want my one tech just just like i like my guards and i know we're gonna touch we're gonna touch that at some point i need this baseline of power that makes me go okay now what else do you have mm-hmm. and mozzie compared to those other dudes he has size and he has power now you ain't quentin williams but let me figure out what the rest of you can do what well what else what else you can do with this power and this and this this baseline size and he can move so i'm not saying Miles is a first round pick or anything like mm-hmm. that he'll probably go in the 30s late 30s uh mid 40s or something like that that makes sense for him you 